Welcome back in Astana for a second KDEX video report. And for today, we will cover some domestic technologies and modernization programs. This is a T-72 tank, modernized in conjunction with Kazakhstan Asalsan Engineering and Sume Engineering. It is a modernized variant of the tank that has a new thermal imaging systems, remote weapon station with Kazakhstan Asalsan Engineering, as well as new uh, space armor on the vehicle. The thermal imaging system allows it to see in day and night in bad weather conditions, as well as operate in various levels and terrains. Apart from that, to the level of armor that is installed currently on the vehicle allows it to withstand up to 70% of RPG hits with the new space armor and the new remote weapon system from SARP allows it to shoot as well in any active conditions. The vehicle is already modernized to levels of D-70B, B3 and it is similar to T-90 levels. We work with uh, Kazakhstan Engineering uh, and we do upgrades with them of the electro optics of the T-72 tanks. Uh, basically what we do, we take the night vision uh, from the system, the old night vision, and uh, we replace it with a new thermal imaging solution. With our, uh, with our design, uh, we replace uh, the lens, uh, we put all the thermal uh, solution inside. Uh, with, uh, that allows the gunner side and the commander side uh, to reach uh, a more distance, uh, six kilometers of uh, detection and ranges that they couldn't uh, achieve before with all the uh, night vision. Um, these two products, the gunner side, uh, which is the uh, TPN and the commander side, which is the TKN, is already in production and we already uh, work with several uh, armies uh, to do those uh, upgrades and uh, so far it's very successful. I'm a general director of Castec Innovations. It's a new plant uh, with uh, engineer board. Uh, so we are designing and producing uh, all uh, UAV and uh, special electrical transport uh, vehicles. Together with R&D Center of uh, Kazakhstan Engineering, uh, we have developed, uh, designed and uh, made a prototype for a small tactical UAV. It has block structure, it self-diagnosed, it can be easily assembled. All parts are easy to change, easy to fix. It doesn't have any uh, parts to, you know, to wire on fields. You just put and push uh, the block, and uh, after quick assemble, it's uh, make self-diagnostic. Uh, the maximum speed is 130 kilometers per hour. Uh, Kui's uh, speed is about 120 kilometers. It's electrical, it has um, batteries on board, NCM, so it can work on uh, cold condition uh, without any problem. Uh, it uh, can stay in air about uh, one hour and a half or two hours, depends on uh, the wind. The wing is not uh, disassembled, it's just turning on along the fuselage but it's just a prototype. It's an um, electrical buggy designed for uh, cover movement on rough terrain. Uh, it's uh, for special operations, low noise, low um, reflection on uh, terminal range. It has batteries on board. It can go up to uh, 150 kilometers. Uh, the maximum speed is about uh, 60 kilometers per hour. It can uh, take two persons with bags. It's specially designed for rough terrain. It also was designed by um, requirements of R&D Center, but desi uh, designed and produced in our plants in Almaty, Kazakhstan. Uh, we use special batteries to prevent uh, low effectiveness in low temperatures. We also have plans to have uh, four-wheel drive, 
later on uh, to use uh, front wheels, also self-driven by electric. We are a local Kazakh company established in 1992. We are the official distributor of uh, BRP, Bombardier Recreational Products, Zodiac Mil Pro, these are inflatable tactical boats, Bonex, which are underwater scooters. Uh, here at Cadax this year we are presenting uh, our own solution for the um, military UTV. It's a basic uh, chassis of uh, Maverick uh, uh, Turbo from BRP, but we designed it specially for the military use. We installed the front uh, assault bumper, we installed a special bracket for the gun, we installed the um, rear bumper and the spare wheel uh, accessory, then we installed the skid uh, plates on the sides for a team that can bring up to, let's say, five, five people uh, to the distant locations. The maximum speed of the unit is around 115 uh, kilometers per hour. The range is about 300 uh, kilometers and it's a quite uh, useful machine for reconnaissance, for multi-purpose uh, missions like delivery of uh, personnel, goods, uh, to the very, very uh, distant and uh, difficult locations. So basically this is our prototype, but we are happy to discuss the possibilities of developing new, new features, new options, and we are fully customizing any vehicle that we are offering. This is the company of from Petropavlovsk, uh, the company of a heavy industry. Our company produces the military products and the civil products also. This is uh, one of the our product, a uh, military truck. Uh, it's named the Wolf. This car is just a basic car, a little bit modified and the gun machine is set on top. This is our first example of such car. It's already passed a natural test. Beside these innovative products, the 811 auto repair plant is also demonstrating two new variants of the MTLB tracked armored vehicle. The first one, a very short range air defense system variant, has been jointly designed by the Kazakhstan Engineering 811 auto repair plant and Kazakhstan Azelzan Engineering. Equipped with an Azelzan launcher and four IGLA 1 surface to air missiles, this new Veshorad variant can be deployed against fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft, UAV and missiles. The turret is equipped with an automatic target tracking and a target in range warning systems if the target is within missile firing range. Its flexible architecture provides autonomous as well as coordinated operation with air defense battle management, command, control, communication and intelligence and interoperability with Allied countries' air defense systems. The IGLA surface-to-air system entered service with the Soviet Army in early 1980s. The missile has an operational range of about 5.2 kilometers, a speed of 570 meters per second, and is fitted with a sole explosive warhead. The second one, a Medevac version, is dubbed Armored Medical Transport Evacuator, or AMTE. The AMTE is designed for the first emergency medical care evacuation of wounded soldiers from the battlefield or people affected from the outbreaks of mass sanitary losses. This Medivac variant is equipped with two thermal imaging devices for night vision, one for the driver and one for the medic located in the rear. It is capable of evacuating up to four people on stretcher or eight wounded sitting on the rear compartment. It also features a searchlight for searching for the wounded people, a complete medical equipment set, and an auxiliary power unit. 
The MTLB is a multi-purpose tracked armored vehicle which was designed in Ukraine in early 1960s. Among other capabilities, it can tow a trailer of a weapon up to 6,500 kilos or carry equipment up to 2 tons. A total of 11 soldiers can be carried in the vehicle.